But we're going to begin with a player that we know is leaving the club, Paul Pogba now. Um, Manchester United announced it earlier on this morning. By the way, they've just announced, Manchester United, that Jesse Lingard will also be leaving yes, the club. That, that, that's no surprise, that one either. No, his contract ends in June, Jesse Lingard. So Jesse Lingard and Paul Pogba will be leaving Manchester United. So we're going to start talking about Paul Pogba, but we're, we'll bring Jesse Lingard chatting as well. Um, you're an Arsenal fan. Yep. If you found out that your side had offered him 350, 400 grand a week, obviously there's no transfer fee, so they mm. can afford to pay that. Listen, I, I, don't, I don't want to see any player come in and get that amount of money because... Not that they don't deserve it, because as I said, I'm always for players getting what they can get. But when you look at the two situations Arsenal found themselves in in recent years of giving a player massive wages, Ozil, Aubameyang, it's not, it's not ended well. Willian, but fair, Willian is different because he kind of went, you know what, I'm not going to take the money anymore, and he left on his own accord. Mm. But Aubameyang and Ozil caused all kind of problems. Pogba, though, if it wasn't, if the wages weren't that high... But there was a chance of that Arsenal could get someone of that quality. I'd snap your hand off for Pogba. Would you? Yeah, 100% I would. See, I'm going to be honest, right? I've never, ne- ever been a fan of Paul Pogba. You said right? that. I've just, I just think he's got so much talent, we've never seen it in a United shirt. We might have seen it for a second half against Man City or first three games of this season. Mm. But other than that, I mean, with the talent that he possesses, I've seen it international level. I've seen it when he played Italian football, which, of course, I think are both slower than the Premier League, which is why when he's got time on the ball, he excels. I'm not disappointed to see him go at all. I know people are talking about the fact that Man United aren't getting a penny back. Well, you know, there's nothing I can do about that. Mm. You pay 90 million, you have him for so many years, and then he goes. But I won't miss him. I, I, I have no idea the influence he has on the dressing room, but I know that his haircuts and social media, not just him, by the way, the majority of footballers, that's as important to them. And I, I hate that. Mm. But when, um, you know, when you look at his stats, though, for, for Manchester United... Yeah. They're actually not that bad. I mean, was it 233 games, 39 goals, 51 assists... Not, but, he, but he's meant to be one of the best midfielders I, in the I world. I get that, but Premier League, 157 appearances, 29 goals, 41 assists. That's not horrible stats. Them stats are actually okay. But you're right, I just think for someone who's got that much quality, and I think, I guess, I'm, I'm not a Manchester United fan, I don't watch them every week, but the most frustrating thing for Manchester United fans, I'm guessing, like yourself included, is when you see him put on that French shirt, you just want that type of performance to be the main... I've told you you get more time in international football. No, but he's playing in a good team. Like, which I get. Some some players will excel better in good, better teams. I know, but but when you're, I've seen him live many a time, right? And it's a totally, as you will know, it's a totally different game when you go and watch a player live to watching him on the telly. Okay. Yep. He gets the ball at Old Trafford, right? He has time on the ball. He looks up. He doesn't play the right pass. He goes, tries to take the ball to a midfielder, like you know, an opposing player. Holds him off. Another player should release the ball. Holds onto it far too long. Gets tackled. Now that's nothing to do with him playing in a good team or a bad team. That's nothing to do with him being managed by the best manager in the world or someone that's nowhere near that level. I don't, that's I don't, his decision making. Yeah, and nine I, times I, I out of ten, I don't think the Premier League's too quick for him. Well, for nine times out of ten in a United shirt, his decision making, his own decision making, has let him down. I, listen, I understand. I, I know he hasn't been good enough, but there are some players out there that play will perform better in a better team. The likes of. When he looks up, when he's playing for France, he's got Kante next to him and Mbappé. Now, I know that's like Christmas, having them players around you. But he is a good player. But for Manchester United, at times, he has to play with maybe players on a lesser level to himself. But then that doesn't necessarily come down to the player that he's playing with. That also comes down to, does he want that motivation? Does he want that kind of responsibility to kind of show the world, listen, I'm Paul Pogba. It doesn't really matter if some of these players I'm playing with aren't as good as me. I'm going to lift them up. And he hasn't done that. Has he been a success at Man United? You have to say no. Okay. But then the argument is he hasn't been a success, but he has won two trophies at the football club. Whereas as Bruno Fernandes, who's been better, yeah. hasn't won anything. I know, but he's been there less time, right? Yeah, but I get that he still hasn't won anything. He's had opportunities to. Not yet. He hasn't, no. So I he, don't think we should be comparing him to other no, players. No, but I think, you have to, I think in, some, in context you have to because obviously Bruno, when it, since he came yeah, but in... But Bruno Fernandes didn't come with a £90 million price tag. I get that, but he's still a player that you've paid a lot of money for. Yeah, but when he came to the club, it wasn't, we no, are see, signing one of the best no, midfielders no, 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 in the world. But he still, he was, a lot of people was after him. Yes. But what I'm saying is, is for Paul Pogba, he has he hasn't lived up to the hype that I expected. When he came back from Juventus, I was thinking, oh, what a signing this is. Hasn't worked, and unfortunately, again, you got, you've paid a lot of money for a player, and you're going to lose him for nothing. Just quickly, Chelsea fans listening to this, would they want Paul Pogba at their club? I don't know if they would, but I wonder if some of the like fo- footballers will think differently to certain fans. Like there'll be, there'll be a real admiration for Paul Pogba amongst other players in the Premier League. Mm-hmm. So players that I played against him, mm-hmm. I think it was Declan Rice was talking about how good he is mm-hmm. and how hard he is to play against. I think other players, like Chelsea players in that squad, would think 
I'd love a player like that to come and play with us. Okay. Whereas as fans will see it differently and go, well, no, doesn't try, doesn't work hard enough, didn't work at Manchester United. Why would we want him? Like players think differently. What about Liverpool? They want him again. It'll be the same thing. You get Liverpool fans going, no way. The way that they play, high energy, high press. Mm. The Liverpool fans will be like, oh, we don't want him. No okay. way. But I bet there's Liverpool players that go, he's decent. He will make a difference. Yeah. Okay, uh, favourites PSG to sign him. They're two to one on. Then it goes mm. Juve and City, and then usual of a, suspects. N- none of them cop like, out if you go French football, Farmers League. Little bit, and you go to PSG, it's a little bit a bit boring. You go to... Like Man City would be exciting, just because of the whole kind of leaving Manchester United to go to City. It would be exciting, but I can't see him doing that. And even Juventus is a little bit... Because he's been there already. Mm. It's a little bit like Lukaku. If Lukaku goes back to, to uh, in Syria, yeah. to Inter, it's almost like, well, why are you going back for? How about Spurs? Will he go to Spurs? No, I don't think so. Okay. He'll, he'll see Spurs as beneath him. Okay. 